This is verse 19 of Jude. This uh, is a follow-up to the preceding verse in which the recipients of the letter are being urged to remember the instructions from the apostles and uh, pointing out that these apostles had actually warned, forewarned, of the coming of these scoffers, as they're called there. He then further elaborates these people. We have hutoi, the demonstrative pronoun. This is the masculine plural nominative, so these or these men. Asen from Ami, I am, third person plural, present active indicative, these men are. And then hoi, the uh, uh, article, the masculine plural nominative, these are the. And then apodiorizontes from apodiorizo. Uh, you'll notice here we have the apo, the preposition, and the di, which is uh, another preposition, dia, so from, through. And then the orizo is uh, actually from a verb that means uh, a division, like horizon. We actually get the word horizon from it. Uh, the sense of it is they divide. So these are the dividers, you might say, those who divide people. Uh, and that's the first description. They are sukikoi. From suke, it means a soul, but it usually means a life uh, with respect to earthly matters, so kind of a natural sometimes the way it's rendered. Uh, they are natural people, that is, they're this worldly. They don't think of the uh, uh, greater eternal significance of life. And then pneuma, spirit, or a spirit, or the spirit, may ekontes, not having. May ekontes, of course, ekontes, uh, the uh, masculine uh, plural nominative participle, present participle. So not having, spirit not having. They're natural, they are this worldly, they're dividers. Those, these are the ones that are being described now uh, by Jude as he continues to give this warning.